Hello everyone, welcome again. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about build tool called Maven. So before that, let me give you a small introduction about Maven. So whenever your project is built, there are a lot of crucial steps which need to be taken care of. For example, including the dependent jar, compiling the code, running the test, building and packaging the project in the form of jar file or war file and in the end providing the versioning to the jar or war file. Now these are some important steps in the project build lifecycle. So Maven is a build tool which will take care of all this step for the developer. And for this it's rely on a XML file called pom.xml or project object model XML. So all this configuration we need to specify in that XML file and rest Maven will take care of it. So let's start setting up the Maven on your local system. Maven is an open source tool provided by the Apache. So you can download the tool from its website. So you can download the Maven from Apache website. So after downloading it and when you extract it, you will get this kind of directory structure. Now once this is done, we need to do certain configuration related to the envir environment variable so that you can use the Maven on your local system. So I will go to the properties of my computer, advanced system setting, environment variable, and in the system variable, create a variable called mvn underscore home and specify the location where you have extracted the Maven binaries. After this, you need to modify the path variable. So in the path variable, append this string. Okay. So here what we are doing is that inside the variable name mvn underscore home we are specifying the location where we have extracted the maven binaries so this is the location and in the path variable we are specifying mvn underscore home slash bin so the complete path will be this slash bin because the actual binaries are present inside the bin folder. Okay, so we have added that thing inside the path variable. Now in order to make sure that you have configured and Maven environment variable properly, just open the command prompt and type the command mvn hyphen version. So this command will list the version of Maven on your local system. If you're getting any error at this point, that means your global variable or environment variable is not set properly or your Maven binaries are not downloaded properly. So let's talk about templates. Now Maven maintain an online repository. So Maven in Maven online repository, there are two things that is archetype and dependency jar. Archetypes are nothing, these are project templates and project template represent default configuration for a type of project. For example, if you are trying to create a web project, so there are certain default package structure you need to follow and certain XML file you need to have. So all those things are provided by the archetype. For example, if I'm creating a normal J2 double application, so there are certain package structure which I need to follow and that will be taken care of by this archetype. So I will navigate to my G drive and here I'll create a folder name Maven project. I will navigate to this directory. Now in order to list down what are the archetype which is provided by the Maven or project template provided by the Maven, we need to issue a command mvn arc type colon generate so when you issue this command maven will look the online repository scan the repository and list down all the default project template which is present at that repository so here is the dev environment from here we will issue the command mvn arc type generate it is going to look into the Maven online repository to list down the project template present there. So as you can see here, it has list down 
almost lot of project template and every template is represented by the not a version number a number and here it is asking me to select a number and that represent what kind of project I want to create so I will just go with the default that is 618 and here it is asking me to give me the version number that means what will be the version number of this particular arc type which you have selected so I will go with the latest one that is 6 now when I, as soon as you press enter it will start asking you to provide certain value from the properties so we'll discuss about what are these properties the first thing is group ID that represent what kind of package structure you want to create inside your project for example if I give com dot code dot mvn so this will be the package structure which maven is going to create for you okay so in other words along with the default structure provided by the architect this will be the additional thing which you want to create according to your requirement the artifact id represent the name of project so here I specify my project the version represent what the version you want to give when you build your project and when you package it in the form of jar or var so usually the version will be appended with the artifact ID so I will go with the default that is 1.0 snapshot again it's asked for the package and it has automatically taken whatever we have specified in the group id so i will go with this thing and now maven is asking me confirmation that whatever the details i have provided whether it is right or wrong so i'll give just y so as you can see here it displays a message build success but there are a lot of things which maven did behind the scene for example if I just open the directory so it has already created a folder name my project and this is coming from your artifact ID that is my project if I go inside it so it has created a source folder and also the pom.xml for me okay so this is a pom.xml we'll see what uh, what are the things in present inside the pom.xml in our later video of this course now if i go to src so we have main test main java and inside this folder if you see com code and mvn so this is the package structure which we specified inside our group id and also inside the property package okay so maven already did that for us so inside java com code mvn and also it has added a test class or you can say a default java class okay which is just going to print a hello world message also if i go to src there is a one folder called test inside the test we have java same and now we have the same package structure com code mvn and here it has automatically added a junit test file okay so these all things are done by the maven by just providing the information about the arc type and the property so when i issue the command mvn arc type it will contact the online repository list down all the arc type or project temple present inside the repository and in that we need to select any one of them and based on the selection it is going to create the structure for us including the pom.xml now this is the basic structure when you developed a java application so source code will rely inside base directory the base directory represent the directory where you have a pom.xml so from that directory it will start referring to the rest of the directory so the source code will be present inside the source main java and inside this directory it is going to form the same package structure which we specified inside the group id or package so here so this will be our base directory where we have pom.xml so if i go inside here 
src main java this was the directory and inside this we will have com code mvn and our source code file the resource folder will be present inside the base directory S src main so usually this directory will not get created we need to create explicitly from our side if we have some dependency on the external file on our script so usually this directory will contain if you have a dependency on external file on any script by standards ideally those things should go inside the resource folder now the test file will be present inside the base directory source test so we have this base directory source test and again java com code mvn and this is a sample junit file now when you compile the code automatically the byte code will get generated or compile classes will get generated inside the folder name called target okay so right now we have only two folder inside src that is main and test and inside the base directory we have only one folder that is src so let us compile the code so mvn compile so for compiling this is the command So as you can see here we are getting an error say build failure the reason why we are getting this error is that whenever you issue a command such as maven compile maven package you have to be present at the location where you have your pom.xml so in my current directory from where i am issuing the command i don't have pom.xml so i will navigate to the location where i have pom.xml and again i will issue the same command so this particular command will compile the our project now whenever you issue a command with the maven it is done in the form of a plugin so for everything maven has a plugin and if the plugin is not present on your local system it will again look into the online repository download that plugin and perform the action for example in case of compile so compile will be also done in the form of plugin as you can see here the maven compiler plugin and the version of compi compiler is 3.1 so for example if i am building anything so again maven will look for the build plugin and if it is not there it will look into the online repository and download the plugin and perform the required task so if i go to the directory now we have a target folder if i go inside the target folder we have classes and inside again the same package structure and this is the class file okay i will issue one more command that is mvn package which is going to create a jar for me So as you can see that it has used the plugin for doing the job and it has also run the test and we are getting a message as build success so again if i go to the directory that is target as you can see here we have the jar which is my project dot sorry my project hyphen one dot snapshot dot jar and this is coming from the artifact id appended with the version okay and if i open it so we have com code mvn and our class file so let me run this so we will go to target and we have this thing so java hyphen cp that is for class path specify the jar and the main class will be so this is the package dot main class is app okay so as you can see here it has printed the hello world which is coming from your 
this main class so let me do one more thing I'll add extra string maven hello world plus the argument which is coming from here so I will again compile mvn compile and I need to be present at the directory where I have form.xml so mvn compile and mvn package so that it will generate the jar for me again I will go to target folder and issue java hyphen cp that is for the class path jar name package structure dot app so here we are getting a null pointer sorry array index out of bound exception is because we didn't specify the string so let's say test thing so it has printed the mesh message maven hello world testing okay so in this manner you can set up the maven on your local system and also you can create a default project structure depending upon your requirement of the project so that's all for this video and thanks for watching